Hi everyone, so I thought uh, I would start answering your questions in video form. I am getting um, emails about this and I thought it would be best, you know, if one person has this kind of question, maybe it'll help someone else who's uh, doing the same thing. So, as you know, when you go to add uh, some tickets to your cart, it will ask you to sign in before you can do so. Now this for users may be a small barrier to entry. It is very simple to register. It's only, you know, your email and password, it is very simple. But say you want to have them create an account at the checkout instead of at the product level, which means they can get it into their account, their, sorry, their, their cart uh, and go from there. So I'm just gonna show you quickly in this video how you can do that. So this is me logged in now as the admin. So I'm gonna to go to the dashboard. I'm gonna edit this. So products, all products. So I'm gonna edit the 911 competition. And all we need to do is set the maximum amount of tickets that a user can enter into their cart as the maximum amount of tickets available. So basically, the understanding of this, if the maximum amount of tickets a user can buy is 10, they're going to need an account or else we won't be able to track how many tickets that user has either bought in the past or has in their account at the time. But if you don't care uh, if the user buys all the tickets, because you know why would they in the first place, let's be honest. Uh, so we're going to set the maximum amount of tickets to 5,000. The maximum tickets a user can buy is 5,000. Uh, and the minimum amount of tickets, we can set that to 5,000 as well. So all I need to do is go up and update that. Right, okay, that product has now updated. We'll go back to our logged out user here. Give this page a refresh. Should cancel that actually. Give the page a refresh. Head on down. So how many seats in 911? There's four add four tickets to the account and then all you need to do is then add to basket. You'll see here now that you've added to basket. That user will still need to create an account but they can create an account at this stage here which is basically at the end. Their first name, all the rest of it, their email address and password all entered into there. Uh, once they check out they can uh, see their card details or well they actually need an account before they can save their card details so the first time they check out the card details if you're using trust payments won't be saved but the next time around they will be saved because they'll be logged in so that's a kind of you know the for and against you know if you create your account um at the product level that means they'll be able to save their card details on the first purchase uh, but if you do it this way where you want them to get the checkout before um, or to get the checkout before they have to create an account you won't be able to save your card details uh, so all you need to do is check out add in your billing details place an order and that's it done so there, those are two ways that you can um, create accounts on this DIY uh, raffle website all right cheers if also if anybody has any questions or videos they would like me to make ask away and I'll try I'll try and get it to you all right cheers bye